What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and listen, I'm going to be sure to make the interior for your remake Taco Bell. Uh, here it is, not a super long or uh, tedious or anything one really at all. Uh, I don't have much to say about this one, so um, yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to need for this is, well, you don't need any space. All you need is your Taco Bell remake from the other day or whenever you decided to build it. For me, that would have been two days ago. Um, for you, it probably would have been two days ago, although I'm not really sure how timing works. It could have been yesterday, could have been today, could have been three months ago. You never know. Anyways, you do need some materials for to start off on the inside, and they will be smooth stone. We need a lot of weird ones. White concrete, you'll see what I mean by that. Uh, we're going to start with, I guess, the important ones. Smooth quartz slabs. Glowstone or sea lanterns or redstone lamps or lanterns or whatever else you really want to use. Uh, which we probably shouldn't have started with. Gray concrete, which, I, again, you'll see why. Cyan terracotta. Blue terracotta. And we'll go birch doors, and you can get night vision, you can get spruce doors, you can get black stained glass panes, you could get a lot. I'm going to go with spruce door, but I am going to slash effect for night vision. Thank you, I agree with that the NHL app. Um, that was completely, I didn't agree with what it said. I don't even, I didn't even read what it said, I'm going to be fully honest here, I have no idea what it was saying. I'll just do a thousand seconds. That's probably too long. How long is that again? I forgot. Okay, yeah, that's probably too long. But anyways, come inside your remake Taco Bell, and the first thing you want to do is break your entire grass or whatever block material floor it is and replace it with smooth stone. You don't need this corner, actually. You could just cut it off like that. You cut it off like that. If you want. I'm just going to do, do the entire thing because it doesn't really matter, and I just think it'll look nicer that way. But the walls are going to be really weird, and I'm not going to, you'll, you'll, you'll see why they're going to be weird. It's just, it, I don't want to explain it right now, so I'm not going to explain it, because it's too much work. Uh, moving up. Frick, I did it again. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I, for the most part, am for uh, whatever day. Of the Oh, yo, it's Friday. Let's go. <laughs> Me just casually realizing this. It's actually not technically Friday. Again, we've been, probably been over this multiple times, and I'm not talking about it again because I don't feel like it. But, uh... Yeah, stream tomorrow, probably, unless something gets in the way and I can't stream, which very rarely happens. The only thing that would do that, probably, according to my uh, life needs and requirements and uh, things that I need to do. It's probably only going to be the internet that could uh, screw me over, which has happened multiple times. And, like, you'd be surprised how much the internet is just like, actually, no, not today. I'm going to even do these corners. You definitely don't need these little corner blocks because uh, that'd be stupid if they were visible. But uh, that's a different issue and I'm just going to do it anyways. Moving on. We already have that corner white concrete filled, so that saves us a part of a step. I was actually going to I was thinking of doing that differently than how I did it. So, I was thinking of bringing it in, but I realized that I kind of can't because of the way that I built that, which I like it better the way that it is rather than the way that I was thinking of, but still, I was just kind of, I don't know why, I'm just dumb. I cannot properly think. Apparently, I can my chinchillas because they... Yeah, it's not like you hear me talk probably a total of an at least an hour a day. It's not like that's a thing that they hear all the time, me talking down here, because I talk a lot down here. Most for videos, sometimes with whoever else might be down here, or on a Discord VC, or whatever else it could be. Moving on. There you go. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this, because I took my notes really weird, and you'll see why. You want to come to the back left-hand corner now, and you want to be on this smooth stone block in this corner. This one. You want to count forward by four. And going right, you want to place eight white concrete. Then move forward with six. 
which I know that's really weird, but uh, I'll talk. I might talk about it. We'll see. Left one, and then place a birch door. Three white concrete. Birch door, white concrete, and then move forward with a gray concrete. You can then, I guess, leave a three block app from that and place another gray concrete if you want, just like that. That row of three, you want to, between the two birch doors, you want to connect straight back to this row of, I think it's eight. Eight? Yeah, eight. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, now what you want to do is, you want to come to the front right hand corner of this and you want to count back by one and going right you want to place, what's the number? Five cyan terracotta. Then place a, what's the block? A white concrete. And you want to bring it forward with two gray concrete, oopsies, and then bring it right one. You can also bring the gray concrete in front of the black glass, left by two. Ah, that felt weird. Just like that. The other end of the, like, the thing for the lights on my headset, it, like, scratched my arm, but it wasn't, like, it didn't, like, press hard, so it, like, tickled. I don't know, that was weird. Uh, moving on. You want to bring... Okay, so we have this kind of white concrete, which is saddened by itself. So we want to give it friends. Uh, you want to bring it back by one. And... This is gonna be weird to describe. So I'm gonna try my best. But on the right side here, you have these two, like, white concrete thingies that are sticking out uh, by the, um... drive through windows. You want to bring a row of white concrete out from either of those. And it wants to scale from floor to ceiling. Just like that. That one we don't need to worry about because we have the white concrete on the floor, which we'll talk about in a minute. What we want to do with all that stuff. And then, the same thing with this one here at the front with this long window. You want to, again, make sure that it all comes out. I'm just going to fill it in entirely for whatever reason. And then that row you want to bring all the way left, and then it's going to connect into the left wall here. Which is what we want. And you just want to fill in this wall. So this gap, you're going to see this. I've done this before. I forget what it was. It was, was it Domino's? I think it was Domino's. I did this, I basically just cut off this front portion because I don't know what to do with it. You could add a seat in, seating area in there or something, I've done that before as well, but uh, I don't really feel like it. So, just like that. Then every single other gray concrete or white concrete you want to bring up to the ceiling with its respective block. Not the cyan terracotta. Cyan terracotta just wants to live its life. And then the ceiling will be the nether brick, so you only have to bring pretty much all of them up by four. And then obviously the ones that are kind of hidden you don't need to do. But I like just like that. You just want to make sure that they are all level at least. Although you do need that row right there. Just kind of make sure you don't have any gaps. And then this side over here, because these gray concrete rows are a little bit weird since they don't they can they have more space to go up essentially, or they should. They might not if you change the way your ceiling is. But um, you know all these white concrete. And you do also want to bring those two birch doors up to the ceiling with white concrete. Uh, that's probably worth mentioning. And then that's going to be your layout. Pretty much done. I think all we have to do is add a door. And then we're done with the layout. Add some blue terracotta and stuff. Which, I was going to say we're not going to worry about now. But we have to do it before the ceiling. Because then that makes doing the ceiling easier. Which, that logic doesn't... I mean, that kind of that kind of does make sense. Because it's going to split the two ceilings in half. Which is what we want. Because we don't want one big... I mean, you could do one big ceiling, I guess. Whatever floats your boat. Not like it affects me at all. Even if it did, I wouldn't care. I mean, well, then it wouldn't affect me if I don't care. Moving on. Uh, you then, I think it's a, yeah, it's a two block gap. So you want to, on the top two rows of white concrete, you want to connect them together above the cyan terracotta with blue terracotta. Just like that. So you're going to notice. You have one row of cyan terracotta on the bottom. Seems familiar. You have two rows above. Seems familiar. Uh, I did directly take that pattern because I wanted to add it on the inside, and I do have black stained glass panes on the left side and the right side, which... Yeah, we can do now. Get rid of either your cyan or blue terracotta, it doesn't matter which one. And then get out black stained glass panes on the left and the right. You can place black stained glass panes, you don't have to. I only did that just to give it more of like a drive through kind of fancy look, and it kind of... It kind of adds a little bit more symmetry to it with like... I don't know, just the way it is. And if you don't like it, then obviously remove it, but... I think it's different, di different, different can be good, can be bad. 
So, now the fun part, which is the roofs. So, everywhere you're going to go directly up against the ceiling, where it is nether brick. If it's not nether brick, you just want to keep it in line with the ceiling that it's already... Because it's literally only this backside here. So, we're going to actually start at the front. And what I did, what you're going to do to get a sort of perfect pattern is... Where is the... the I know I took an image of the lights this time. There it is. There it is. You want to place, I think, of course, okay, yeah. You want to place one row of upstones and move quartz subs along the front of the blue terracotta, and then two along the right side, which you do want to make sure they actually go all the way across, just like that. And then place a glowstone in that corner, which isn't really symmetrical, but whatever. And then bring it out on each side with two upside down smooth quartz slabs. Glowstone. Two upside down smooth quartz slabs. Again, make sure that it doesn't go up here when you hit the gray concrete glowstone. Just want it to all be level. Two upside down smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, and then you should get the point. And then your two rows of upside down smooth quartz slabs. Kind of, sort of, doing it like an L shape. And then your light pattern, and then you want to keep it going until you have the ceiling in the section. I really don't feel like explaining these anymore, I'm going to be fully honest here. Uh, I don't even know what the first tutorial I would have used is light pattern. It's been a long time. I started using this light pattern like a while back. <laughs> so I don't even know what the first one is that would be like, okay, yeah, this is how I explained it. I don't, I don't remember. A long time ago, really. That's all I can tell you. And then there's, ooh, there's gonna be, I thought there wasn't a glowstone there. Oh, I know why. Okay, don't add anything to the direct up against the spruce, because what you want to do is, uh, get rid of your gray concrete, I guess, and get out spruce wood planks, and you want to bring all those spruce wood planks towards your, towards the left of row. So that's going to give you this. That's why I was confused. That makes more sense. But yeah, it's like that. I knew there wasn't a light there. I was like, that feels wrong, but yeah, it gets because it was wrong. You don't need it to be that way. I just think it looks better if it sticks out. Because, um, if you... I, I always do this with black glass. If it's not, then I, there's something to separate them. Because I don't like black glass directly up against blocks. I used to do it. Uh, I, we can literally just, like... Thank you, I agree, phone. You can literally just, like, look back there and see. And, never mind, those are pains. Uh, and there. But I used to do it, but I'm, I don't like doing it anymore. Because it... It's just dumb, in my opinion. And then in this back area, this is like, this is like, I don't even know what you'd call this, a weird L, a fat L, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's not even the right orientation, right? That, yeah, it isn't. Okay, cool. I, I don't know why, I just kind of like forgot how that works. I never, I just now am noticing that all the words are capitalized on microblocks. I mean, I probably knew that, I just never paid attention, which I shouldn't anyways. Moving on from the front side, so this blue terracotta area, you want to just place one row of upstone smooth quartz slabs along the front, and then place a glowstone in the middle of that row, moving back, and then you can bring it back with two upstone smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, two upstone smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, upstone smooth quartz slab, and then just fill in the rest of your light pattern with the respectiveness of it, if that makes sense, and that's gonna be glowstone. Nope, that's wrong. It's gonna be glowstone. It's gonna be pretty symmetrical here. Like, you can see that. That's very symmetrical. Because of the way that the drive through windows are and how they're only one block apart. Although, if there were two, it'd probably still work. Because I'd change the, like, the orient- or not the orientation, the positioning of the light pattern. It'd still probably be symmetrical. As long as they're symmetrical on either side of the room, then it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter at all, I guess, in general. It doesn't need to be symmetrical. I just like some symmetry. Symmetry looks a lot more sleek. Is that the word I... Yeah, I guess that's the word. I don't know. But yeah, and then that should just give you this once you do the fat L. Just like that. That's what I'm going to call this room. It's not even like... It doesn't even look like an L. That's the funny part. And then in either bathroom, you should... Yeah, you should have a whole nether brick. Just place a glowstone directly in the center along the roof. And then obviously make sure you place your ups and smooth quartz slabs. All the way around it. So it's two... For, I guess technically left and right of it. And then one row in front and one row behind. Just like that, if it would place properly. So, before we clear inventory, there's one more thing we have to do. And, that is, uh, come to the... Okay, that really threw me off. Come to the back right-hand corner in your kitchen, or your, uh, L, your fat L. 
You want to break in that corner along the back, along the, wait, back, yeah, back wall. I'm getting my directions confused here. I can't even, the front of, okay, the front of the build is the, that, that side, that's the front. The, I was thinking this is the front for some reason, but it's not. And then you just want to do, you do want to break the floor material and then place the spruce door in that doorway, which should be a doorway. And it should be three blocks off the left wall, or off the right wall, sorry, I can't, I just can't at this point. I forgot directions. Maybe just like that. And then that's your layout all done. Now, the actual interiorizing part, which I still... You know what? Uh, let's look it up. Is interiorize a word? Interior... If it's not a word, I'm still saying it. Interiorize is a word. Let's go. <laughs> but, um... Interiorization is also a word, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna interiorize, I don't even think, I'm probably, I don't know, I don't pay attention, but, uh, interiorizing this, interiorizing this isn't going to be that bad, that bad, I, bruh, <laughs> oh boy, so, uh, moving on from whatever that was, you're gonna wanna clear inventory now, and get out, to start off, red nether brick stairs, oak fence, Magenta, no purple carpet, not magenta, sorry. Uh, what else do we need? That, like, ah, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know why I scream. <laughs> Dark oak signs, that was, like, extremely overreacting. Bone meal or white dye, whichever you prefer to get. Bone meal is easier because it's not in a category. Glowing sacks, um, I actually have no idea what else I want to get. Let's just say smooth quartz blocks. Smooth court stairs, and I guess we'll go birch trap doors. Trying to get some of the bathroom done. You need a lot more than that. For the bathrooms, you need levers, cauldrons, composters, and oak trap doors. And I think that's it. Yeah. And then for the kitchen, you need, like, way more than that. I don't even know what you need in the kitchen, I'll be fully honest here. I mean, I know you, I know you need gray concrete. I can probably think of them all of them, all of them off the top of my head. But I'm not going to try that because I'm going to forget what I'm saying. What you want to do is you want to come to the front right-hand corner of your build, and what you want to do, make sure you're actually in the front right-hand corner, and what you want to do is going towards the left side, which is the white concrete. You want to place a red nether brick stair facing left. Two oak fences. Red nether brick stair facing right. Red nether brick stair facing left. Two oak fence. Red nether brick stair facing right. Place some magenta or purple carpet on top of each stuff. Uh, I don't know why I keep wanting to say magenta. And you want to bring that entire pattern backwards with itself by one. So the next part is a little bit weird, and I'll talk about why in a sec. But I basically okay. Actually, I'm going to talk about it right now. I took away this table on this second one moving back. So you want to leave a two block gap, and you just want to moving back and you want to only copy this corner table here the other table i skipped so you could actually walk into this alleyway thing here alleyway sure i guess and then from this table you want to leave a what is that number four block gap moving left and then you want to place another table that should be in line with that so run another brick stair two facing left two oak fence run another brick stair facing right and then you want to also place another one all the way in this front left-hand corner in this white concrete area. It's going to kind of be sort of cramped between those last two that we just did, but it's still fine. So, uh, this, I do want to point this out. You don't, when you're making a fast food restaurant, you're not going to need a lot of seating. Because nowadays, especially with, you know, everything that's been happening in the past two years at this point, almost two years, um... People don't want to dine in as much, so, like, I had a pizza hut near me that just closed because of that reason, because they were more so dine in and not, like, that carry out as much, and that kind of ca caused them to fall. Fast food restaurants are more so for the drive through so you don't need a ton of seats, typically. I mean, if you want to obviously have more than you can add more, I just don't think it's necessary. Also, I did add a really tiny one here in front of the window, just like an, I just placed an oak fence truck in the center with a purple carpet on top, moving out from the sand terracotta, and then a red nether brick stair facing or on either side of that, forward and backward from it, goodness. I was getting there. 
Now what you want to do is now my phone's gonna start blowing up. Is you want to place above each bird story a dark oak, and then what you're gonna want to do is left click once with uh, bone meal or white dye, and then left click once with a glowing sack, and that's gonna give you this. If you don't like the um, you could just do glowing sack, and that'll give you like it'll give you the same thing since they're like that grayish outline. It's gonna give a black outline. I think I actually like it better that way, but I like the uh, plain white text more. Okay, I like the way that the black outline looks more. I think it's more of like a fancy and a nice looking font. It's more it's more appealing to look at, but the grayer outline is more like how you would see it, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't like pay attention, but um, I say that a lot, don't I? At least I paid attention to that, I guess. So in either bathroom, what you want to do is you want to open the door and come into the back center and you want to place a smooth quartz block. Bringing that block forward with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Bring that stair up with a birch trap door and then bring that birch trap door back with a smooth quartz block. And do that in either one. I'm going to speed run this one. Ah, I misplaced the block. It's like that. You could, again, you could always make this back block an upside down stair facing towards the back wall, but that's harder and I don't feel like going through that effort. I mean, at least I'm honest. Then what you want to do is clear your inventory and get out. Um, levers, that's an important one. Cauldrons, I'm going to do something weird here. You'll see what. Gray concrete, which is the weird thing. Um, I actually have no idea. Smokers. Or furnaces. Don't use blast furnaces, I'll tell you that much. Smooth quartz blocks. Uh, birch doors. Stone brick stairs. Whoa there, what was that? Mr. Controller. And then we'll go composters, wherever they are, I found them. And no, oak trap doors, not oak doors. So, now what you want to do is you want to, to the left of either of the top smooth quartz block, you want to place a lever, or you could do the right, I guess, doesn't matter. So along the left wall, let's say second block back, you want to place a cauldron with a lever above it powered on, and then the front right hand corner, place a compost with an oak trap door on top. This is what I typically go with. It, I wonder if I did it exactly the same. I think I did, or I, oh, I flipped the compost and the cauldron, of course I did. I never make them the same. I mean, like, I have certain, like, I always will go with something like this, but the cauldron and the compost are always, like, mm, switched between, like, these four spots. It's so funny. It's not actually that funny, that was a lie. Uh, and then you do want to do the same in the other bathroom. Just like that. So. And the main area, what you're going to want to do is... You can place it anywhere, but what I did was... You have this row of gray concrete, or the strip of gray concrete here, that is in front of this window... Is one I just up against that I place a compost with an oak trap door on top. I think that's the best spot for one. Um, you could try and find a different spot. I just think that's easiest. Although it is kind of furthest from the door, so the poor people that are sitting here have to walk all the way across the restaurant and then back, which isn't really that far, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> some days you just don't want to like you know take that venture, you know. Or if, like, I don't know, if you have your arch enemy sitting there and then you gotta walk by them, that that would be awkward. Well, I guess you could squeeze through there, which I would probably do in that situation. And I would just look at the floor. That's the best thing to do. Life advice. Uh, now you want to come into the uh, Fat L, which I'm going to now be calling the kitchen instead because that's a lot more uh, mature. <laughs> and uh, what was the word I was looking for? Proper, that's the word. You want to place a stone brick stair on one of the three blocks facing backwards. Doesn't really matter which one. The strip of white concrete between the drive through windows, just place a gray concrete front and back of it, and then place a stone brick star on top of said gray concrete. Uh, just a reminder that someone could totally just get up and then just take some money and then leave, although I wouldn't recommend doing that. I, I, I mean, yeah, let's not influence that for a couple different reasons. Um, I forgot about a thing. All right, so come to the second, maybe, wait. Yeah. Second white concrete behind the, um, I almost said drive through window, behind the counter. As you want to place moving backward, three gray concrete. Composter. Gray concrete. Then move left with two gray concrete. Three smokers that are facing backwards. Gray concrete. Two cauldrons. Move back with three cauldrons. 
right with one, so you get a little U shape. Then right with a gray concrete. Right with a cauldron. I would place a lever powered on above this one just so it's also marked different. Gray concrete. Two smooth quartz blocks, and then I think it's five gray concrete, yes. You could do four if you want a little bit more room for the door, but uh, I don't really care about the door. It's not that important to me. Um, then what you want to do is bring either smooth quartz block up by one and place a birch door on their front faces. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Should They should, they handle should be facing towards each other. Also, I know this is very crowded, so like if someone's walking here, you could just um, smack them in the face with the door. And then, and then you only have this space, so if someone's trying to come this way with, um, I don't know, taco shells off the out of the oven, and someone's trying to come this way to wash their hands, that would be an interesting collision. Uh, you can place an uh, oak trap door above the composter, by the way. I think that's all with the uh, current inventory set, yeah. So you can indeed clear inventory and get out. What are the materials? I know what the materials are. Do I know them? Yeah, I do enough. Water bucket. Orange dye and yellow dye, which are both optional. Yellow is probably more optional. And also, actually, all three of those are optional. I lied. Uh, Oakwood plank. They all go together, though. So, keep that in mind. I didn't pluralize Oakwood plank. I just realized. Cobblestone stairs. Iron trap doors. Tripwire hooks. And smooth stone slabs. I think that's everything. Above each smoker, you want to place an iron trap door, and above each iron trap door, you want to place a cobblestone stair, but the left and the right one want to be curled towards that, or I guess it want to be so that they're curled into the wall and they're facing away from that center one, essentially. Um, now, the, uh, there's, like, little weird C of cauldrons that we have going on here, the, the letter C, not, like, an ocean C. You want to fill each one with water buckets, which is gonna, for some reason, give me six water buckets. That feels, r I thought it gave me four, whatever. And you want to left-click once on each with orange dye, and then once with yellow dye. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's why, okay. <laughs> so, it did give me, it did technically give me six, and I read it as four. Just like that. And then, did that, no, that's just the lighting. I placed, what I did was I placed an oak wood plank above either smooth quartz block. I extended it all the way to the left, and then I extended it over the right by, I believe, one block. One block, not whatever I just said, I don't even know. It's like that. Then in front of the compost, these three gray concretes place a tripwire hook on top of, and then a smooth stone slab. Or I guess against the wall on top of, and then a smooth stone slab on top of that. Uh, that'd be interesting if you could place tripwire hooks uh, like up against the block, like facing up. That'd be really weird. I don't want to imagine that. Although I kind of am imagining that. Um, but uh, yeah, once we're done, that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end here for your remake Taco Bell complete. Let me just double check everything. Yep, that is it done. Let me clear my inventory slowly because it just takes a while. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any suggestions for any other tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments. I got one recently. I forgot what it was. Uh, Wingstop, I think, is what it's called. I could be completely making that up, but I'm, per I'm almost, I'm like 96% sure that's what it is. And I do want to do Krispy Kreme at some point, and there's something else that I also forgot about. Sam's Club, I've been holding off forever because I cannot figure out how to make that logo. Uh, some, if anyone has any tips, um... If you'd leave in the comments, that'd be appreciated. But have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.